Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome to another fun facts video. This one's for the Haunted Mansion attraction at Disneyland. This is a redo, so if you guys want to watch the previous videos, go ahead and do that before you watch this one. Other than that, here we go. The Haunted Mansion is the only attraction located in four different lands in four different Disney parks. New Orleans Square at Disneyland, Liberty Square at Walt Disney World, Fantasyland at Tokyo Disney, and Frontierland at Disneyland Paris. Eddie Murphy had been looking to do a ghostly comedy in the vein of Bob Hope and Abbott and Costello when he learned about Disney's Haunted Mansion film and asked to see the script. Imagineer and Disney legend Claude Coates briefly developed a water ride version of the Haunted Mansion in which guests would float through the ruins of an old plantation house partially submerged in a Louisiana bayou. A live care caretaker character was featured in almost every draft of the Haunted Mansion film script but was ultimately cut in favor of a ghostly cameo appearance in the graveyard, complete with cowardly canine companion. Imagineers produced the audio animatronic figures, props, and set pieces for both the Disneyland and Walt Disney World versions of the Haunted Mansion at the same time, knowing that the Florida attraction would open less than two years after its Anaheim predecessor. The Disneyland Haunted Mansion was largely inspired by the Shipley Lydecker House in Baltimore, Maryland, picture in, pictured in Decorative Art of Victoria's Era, a book found in the Walt Disney Imagineering Information Research Center in Glendale, California. Legendary creature designer Rick Baker originally modeled the Haunted Mansion film singing busts after Mark Davis, Thurl Ravenscroft, Blaine Gibson, Paul Fries, and even Walt Disney himself. Only the Fries and Ravenscroft's, Ravenscroft busts made it into the film. Paul Fries, voice of the ghost host, also provided voices for Ludwig von Drake, Boris Badenov, the Pillsbury Doughboy, and many of the Pirates of the Caribbean, including the infamous auctioneer. Early drafts of the Haunted Mansion film script were set in upstate New York with a manor house inspired by the Walt Disney World attraction. Director Rob Minkoff and producer John Maynard felt the movie should feature a mansion inspired by the Disneyland original and move the otherworldly attraction to New Orleans. Imagineer Leota Toombs, Madame Leota's face and namesake, rehearsed her incantations on the night of daughter and future Imagineer Kim Irvin's school dance, prompting Kim's surprise date to ask, wow, what's up with your mom? An ill-fated bride was featured in almost every proposed version of the Disneyland Haunted Mansion, dating back to Imagineer Ken Anderson's very first creative treatment in 1957. Ex Atencio's tongue-in-cheek epitaph eulogy, Master Gracie, a nod to Imagineer and Master of Illusion, Yale Gracie, has led both fans and cast members to consider him the true, if unofficial, Lord of the Manor. The Haunted Mansion movie crew decided to honor the tradition and dub the master of the house Gracie II. The Haunted Mansion's infamous eye of wallpaper, long credited to Imagineer Mark Davis, was actually a collaboration between Museum of the Weird Creators, Rolly Crump, and Claude Coates. And those are your fun facts for the Haunted Mansion attraction at Disneyland. Again, this was a redo, so if you guys want to go back and watch the original, you are more than welcome to. Other than that, um, my next video is going to be another uh, Disney series video. I'm really enjoying these guys. Like, honestly, they're so much fun, and I really hope you guys are enjoying them too. So stay tuned to figure out which Disney theory I tackle next. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.